Giselle, um, yeah. a Twitter name I can't pronounce, uh, wanted me to ask you, <laughs> uh, what's going on? You know, there were all these rumors about you and Jamal recently, and I don't know that you've addressed them or had anything to say. Do you have anything to say about them? There were rumors that he fathered a child with a member of his congregation. Jamal Bryant's history is indeed marked by several scandals that have shaped public perception and impacted his leadership. Here are the key aspects of his controversial history. Jamal Bryant has faced numerous allegations of infidelity throughout his career. These allegations have often overshadowed his work and contributions as a pastor. His public image has been significantly tarnished by these recurring issues, leading to questions about his personal integrity and suitability for pastoral leadership. Jamal Bryant's previous marriage to Giselle Bryant ended in divorce in 2009, primarily due to his infidelities. Giselle Bryant, who is a star on The Real Housewives of Potomac, has openly discussed the infidelity issues that led to their divorce. Their relationship and its tumultuous end have been a source of public interest and speculation. Jamal Bryant has multiple children from different relationships which has further complicated his public image. The revelation of these relationships and the children born out of them has fueled media scrutiny and criticism from both the public and within the church community. I, and I think that we communicate so much better now. I mean, our communication is on point. Your kids seem dubious of his intentions and the relationship. I'm hoping, I mean, and I hate to say it, but it, it, it doesn't, evolve during the season how, how are they feeling about this now well i mean my kids always are gonna give me a hard time and a hard go but they you know they do just want what's best for me they're very protective of me so right. they're here for their parents i mean come on now I'm there. and it's i think that's I think that's the thing too that I always see with the girls is that they really are protective of you and they're used to having you all to themselves. Yes. So it's like another now dynamic where they got to share mom with dad. Like it's different, you know? Right. Who, right. Who's more likely to get married first, Robin and Juan or you and Jamal? Well, Robin has a ring on it. So, okay. Robin. <laughs> um, okay. And, um, <laughs> These personal scandals have cast a shadow over Brian's pastoral work. Critics argue that his behavior does not align with the moral and ethical standards expected of a church leader. This ongoing scrutiny has made it challenging for Brian to maintain a positive and authoritative presence in his pastoral role. You ought to be appreciative that God saw enough promise and destiny over your life that he breathed into you to have uh, another day. Uh, Charles Spurgeon, uh, one of the great, uh, greatest theologians of our time, was asked, uh, what is more important, reading the Bible or prayer? That's what Charles Spurgeon was asked. What is more important, reading the Bible or prayer? Dr. Spurgeon, without a pause, said, uh, what's more important, exhaling or inhaling? You need both of them in order to breathe. You've got to be able to pray and you have to be able to read the word. I hope that uh, today you are committing yourself uh, to do uh, both of uh, those. I'm appreciative uh, for those of you who have climbed aboard to be a part of our electronic altar. We meet here every Tuesday morning. In December 2018, Bryant was appointed as the senior pastor of New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Atlanta a position previously held by Bishop Eddie Long. Given Long's own scandal, ridden history, Bryant's appointment was controversial. Some viewed it as a fresh start for the church, while others were skeptical due to Bryant's own history of scandals. Jamal Bryant's tenure at New Birth has not been without further controversies. He has made several statements and taken actions that have sparked debate. For example, his openness to discuss sexual matters and his modern approach to addressing the needs of a younger congregation have been both praised and criticized. All of the young men that look this way, I know you think you know everything. I know you think life is going to last forever. I know you think you smarter than your mother, but there's some people in this room who wish they could get one day back with their mother. And I, I want you to make decisions 
new birth, y'all got to back me up right here. I want you to make decisions knowing that you got somebody praying for you, knowing that you got a community standing behind you. It is outside of the natural order of life. It is outside of the natural order of life for a mother to have to funeralize their own child. And so I want you to know that we are putting a hedge fence of protection around young black men. Come on, I can't hear anybody. I said we're putting a hedge fence of protection around young black men. Young men, I need you to do something for me, please, today. It may not even mean anything for you, but I need you to do this for me today. I want all of you young men who are at this altar, I want you to come embrace these mothers for me. Uh, because many of them wish they could hug their sons again. Everything that they prayed for. Everything that they wanted their sons to be. We're depending on you to do it. Jamal Bryant is known for his active involvement in political and social issues. He has been vocal on matters such as social justice, race relations, and community development. While this has endeared him to some, it has also attracted criticism from those who believe a pastor should focus solely on spiritual matters. Public perception of Jamal Bryant is deeply divided. Supporters admire his charismatic preaching style, his commitment to social justice, and his ability to connect with younger audiences. Detractors, however, view his personal scandals as disqualifying him from being a credible and moral leader. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people omit is that 112 HBCUs, most of whom came out of the womb of the black church and uh, regrettably in the 21st century have been co-opted as state universities and institutions. Uh, you just uh, announced something uh, stellar uh, and significant uh, for HBCUs. I want you to share with sure. you what that is. Jamal Bryant's life has been heavily scrutinized by the media, especially due to his involvement with Giselle Bryant on The Real Housewives of Potomac. This exposure has brought both positive attention and negative criticism, impacting his ability to lead without controversy. Jamal Bryant's leadership is undeniably affected by his personal history of scandals, particularly allegations of infidelity and having multiple children with different women. These issues have created a contentious backdrop for his pastoral work, challenging his credibility and integrity as a church leader. Despite these controversies, Bryant continues to play a significant role in the Christian community, especially through his work at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church and his engagement with social and political issues. His ability to navigate these challenges and maintain his influence remains a complex and ongoing narrative.